hello welcome back to my channel hope you're having an amazing day in today's video i do want to do an amazon favorites i want to show you guys some of the products that i've been loving i don't have a lot but i do have a little bit of everything some house items like it's literally going to be an amazon favorites but all over the place and if you guys see me looking that way it's because i'm using my vlogging camera because i couldn't find my memory card for my other camera but we'll just go with it and before i start with today's video i do want to tell you guys that once i reach 400 subscribers i am going to do, be doing a 50 dollars giveaway i just a little thank you for all the love and support like i i said so many times ever since i started my youtube channel i honestly started it because i wanted and i thought it was the reason why i started it was because i needed a place where i could just be myself and distract myself and i know that i haven't been uploading as i was uh, but here i am and like i said once i reach 400 subscribers and i will be doing a 50 dollars giveaway and i'm gonna be doing that like as i keep getting more subscribers i will be doing more giveaways just as a little thank you for all the love and support and i will go ahead and uh, go into details at the end of the video but first i'm not gonna go in any particular order I just, I literally, if I look, I look a little rough. I just came back from walking the dog and I was like, you know what? Let's record a video because I need to record a video, all right? So I am gonna start with some household items and I am currently in the process of just organizing my house and I've, I'm always, I am literally cleaning 24 seven and organizing, I am never done. And you guys are always gonna hear me saying that I'm always organizing my house, but I could never finish it. Like there's always something that I need to organize. But I did declutter a lot of my clothes. Like literally, I had two big trash bags of clothes that I just gave to my mom so she can, sorry for the hand movement, so she could just donate to whoever she knows. I wanted to sell it, but honestly, if she could give it to somebody that needs it, then why not? But I am gonna, like I said, start with some house items and then just kind of work my way. Um, I'm not gonna go in any particular order. I literally just have everything laid in my table here. But the, the first item that I wanted to talk about was this camera. So this is a, like, I guess, like, a house camera, you can pretty much put it anywhere. But I, as most of you guys know, I have a dog. And the reason why I have cameras in the house is because up until last year, he started to get seizures. And finally, they diagnosed him with epilepsy. It's a whole, this is a whole different story. But we pretty much just put cameras around the house. I have one in my bedroom, one in the kitchen that looks at the hallway and one on top of my fireplace that kind of overlooks the living room. But unfortunately, he's been having seizures for the past year and a half and every time he gets them, we never catch him on camera and it is not something I... I just... It, like, I could never get used to seeing him like that. So I used to have a furball cam and I spent $200 on that camera and it literally broke within a year of me having it and I tried contacting... Uh, customer support but they never got back to me and i was on the hunt for just some house cameras that i could turn on and even if i'm at work or if i were out i just feel safe knowing that i'm watching him and these were literally less than 20 i think they were 20 to 25 dollars i got two of these like i said this one is on top of my fireplace and it comes with like the cable like the cord and then the wall plug and i have one on top of my stove that overlooks pretty much the whole kitchen and then the one in my bedroom is a different brand but it's also really good but the thing I like about this is that when you're moving the camera on the app, it like it moves around. Like it's weird, but I will link it down below. But it's been a huge help. Also, you never know, like with things right now, like it's just always good to have a camera at the house. I, I do turn them off when I go to sleep, but I try to keep them on. That's pretty much for the whole day. But they've been a lifesaver and I really like them. Like I said, I will link this specific one. It's not the best quality. It's 1080p but it works for what I needed. So I'm gonna be setting everything aside. Second household item are these bags and it's just random. But I have a lot of blankets, like a lot of blankets. And uh, my laundry closet is not super big. So I have just have two racks. Yeah, like actually one and a half. So it's like a rack and then a small one. And all my blankets don't fit. And I was trying to find a way to put them away like because i have a storage room outside of my porch and i was trying to find a way to put them away without just safely so in case a spider goes in or something just keep them away but like safely and i got these bags on amazon i think they were 35 dollars, and it came with a pack everything will be linked down below but they're just like this and <laughs> you guys can see but they're they're pretty much just like 
I guess suction bags so you pretty much put your items clothing uh, blankets duvets duvet covers whatever you want to put away and you just put it and then you pretty much just suck the air out of it and it gets really small so these have been a big 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 help and um, like I said I have a lot of blankets and I just don't like seeing them all over the place so this is like a, this is a safe uh, way to put your clothing away or you guys want to put clothes or whatever you want um, I think I'm also going to be doing that with my clothes like clothes that, are, that I'm not wearing for the season I think I'm going to put it away and then take it out when the season's approaching but I thought it'd be nice to just get these and like I said they're a space saver and honestly they're they're good quality and I think the biggest blanket I have is a king size and it fits in one of these so um, I'm just going to be setting everything down like right here because I don't have a lot of space and if you guys hear a noise in the background, it's my dog. He wants to play. And you guys are probably going to see him right there. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Also, you guys could tell I'm not wearing any makeup. I've been really into my skin. I've been taking care of my skin. And I've been like taking care of myself, working out off topic. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to, like I said, set this on the side. And then the next um, household item, I guess, is this microfiber towel. So these are for your hair. And it came in a pack of three. It came in with the pink one, baby blue, and the gray one. And these are perfect for when you get out of the shower. So I tend to shower later at night. I don't know why I, I don't shower during the day. Unless I have somewhere to be. But usually, I like to shower before I go to bed. And sometimes I would go to sleep with my hair really wet. Like, really wet. And I would wake up kind of sick. And sometimes, like, it just, the, my like, my pillow would smell kind of weird. So I was looking for microfiber towels just to dry my hair. And usually if I'm like, once I'm done, once I'm out of the shower, then I go ahead and just put this on and just, sometimes I leave it overnight, sometimes I, I don't even know if that's healthy, but I sometimes do, or just leave it till my hair uh, dries, till most of my hair dries, and it makes my hair so soft, so sleek. I mean, I have really straight, really straight hair right now, Marina Sunshine, but it's honestly, they're, they're really nice, and I use these just to kind of dry my face after I put on my face wash. And they're really soft and they're also microfiber, so they're pretty good for your skin, I think. I mean, I've heard so. But I really like them and they were very inexpensive. So the next item is this bag and this is just like a little dog bag. So I like to take this with me every time I'm walking out with my dog. So I am currently, I'm training him all the time. So if we ever go to the park, I like to put treats in here. And then just kind of put my phone and my keys and just put this on the side. I just think it's a really nice bag. I also, I feel like you can use any bag, but you put this around your waist. And it's really nice if you want to train your dog or just to carry your stuff around. But I, it, looks, it looks pretty cool. It looks like I'm a dog trainer when I'm walking in. Um, but I've got another stuff for him on Amazon. Like I also have a vest that says do not pet. Because he is a bigger dog and just he's the sweetest boy ever. But sometimes, you know, like he doesn't like people or... I don't know how he might react so i would just rather him like not be petted by other people so that, that's also if you guys are interested i will link it down below but it's just a vest and it has some tags that you put on the side that says do not pet but this is a really nice bag if you're training your dog or if you want to put treats if you guys are going for a hike it's really nice and i really like it so i use this all the time i walk him every day so the next item is this water bottle and i am a sucker for cups water bottles i work at starbucks so we always get cute cups but i had been on the hunt for like my perfect water bottle and i have a hydro flask that i've had for three years he's looking at me like who are you talking to <laughs> um so i have a hydro flask but the only thing i don't like about it is that if the water is sitting for too long it smells i don't know if it's just mine i don't know if it's old but I just don't like the way the water tastes like when it's been sitting in metal. And I had been in the hunt for other water bottles. And I saw this one on Amazon. And it's by the brand Arc. And it's super small, super sleek. And it has a time that you pretty much need to drink water. And I carry this with me all the time. I literally use this 24-7. And they have other... Um, there's over... There's so many water bottles on Amazon. But I thought... This would work for my lifestyle and like when I go to the gym because I also started working now. So this has been super nice and I just like how sleek it is. It's plastic so I don't have to worry if, it, if I drop it um, and it has like a gold lid but I really like this. And then on the same category for working out, I wanted to talk about these bands. And these came in a pack of three. 
this is the light one so it's a light medium and strong and i like i said i just recently started getting back into working out and i just trying i'm trying to get my body fit i just want to feel healthy i'm not doing it so much to like look good it's just i want to feel good about myself there's times where i wouldn't i would wear something and i felt very bloated so pretty much i've been working out for over a week now and i've noticed a big change like my skin i've been also drinking a lot of water and these are really nice like i said these come in a pack of three and i sometimes take this with me to the gym if i'm doing squats i've heard really mixed reviews about breaking out bands like sometimes they say that they're good sometimes they say that they're bad for you but i use them only when i'm doing legs and if i'm doing squats or if i'm doing like um those machines where you sit down and you pretty much just open your the hip hip abductor i think that's what it's called I put these on and it just kind of adds like extra pressure on my legs and I really like them and I've been still using the light because I don't want to overdo it but these are really nice and sometimes like I just put this in my Lululemon bag and it fits perfectly and now I'm going to get into like more like jewelry and some accessories so the other item is this bag and I actually got this for Christmas my sister-in-law gave it to me and I own the black one and I've actually shown it in a few videos but this is so freaking cute i really i just think amazon has so many cute items for really really affordable prices and i i've been always the kind of person to not spend a lot of money on accessories purses unless i really really like something the only high-end designer thing that i've ever bought in was my wallet and i've had it for over a year and it well, i mean for me it was expensive it was like 500 dollars. but that's like the hot like the most expensive i've ever that's like the most expensive thing i bought when it comes to like i guess accessories and i use it every day I, i'm gonna use it till it rips but when it comes to handbags i always like buying more affordable things just because you could wear them with just because you could get more for your bag i mean you know maybe one day i'll buy a designer bag but uh, i'm not really into designer stuff but this bag like i said i have it in black and i would wear it all the time I don't have it anymore i actually donated it because i have other bags but she gave me this and i have been in the hunt for a brown bag i have another one that i got from asos and i will be doing an asos haul once i get my other package but she got this for me for christmas and i've worn it so many times it's just it's like the perfect color like the perfect mocha brown and i like the gold hardware and i really like the strap from this bag the one that i had for my other one was different but I feel like this is very like casual. It looks very expensive. And I, I, the thing I like about these bags is that you can wear it so many ways. You could take this one out and just wear the little pouch. And it also comes with a little gold chain. Or you could wear it together, which I actually like to wear it together uh, as like a crossbody bag. But I really like it. And they have so many colors. And I am going to link it down below. I am going to link it down below as well. Sorry, if you guys here background noise is a dog he wanted to eat he demands me for food so if i don't feed him then he'll just stand next to his food and wait for me to feed him but don't mind him he's pretty busy but i think the last time i talked about was the bag so now i'm gonna get into more except like so now i'm gonna get into more items like i said these are gonna be just random items and i hope you guys like it because you know what i really like these items so let's we'll go with the flow and the next item is my straightener and i've had these for i think maybe six months now and i had a straightener that i had for so many years it was like a remington and i had been in the hunt for a good straightener because the thing with my hair is it's so straight but sometimes i would straighten it and it wouldn't stay sleek i know sometimes like hair curlers straighteners blow dryers could get very expensive and i just i don't like wasting a lot of money on products that i'm only going to be using a certain amount of times and i saw this on amazon and it had so many good reviews it was i think less than 50 dollars. it's by the brand h a h s i professional and it is so amazing i use this whenever i curl my hair straight in it like i pretty much i have a, a curler as well but this is my to go i don't do i don't straighten my hair every day i probably do it like maybe twice a month because i always have my hair up for work or if not i'll wear my extensions but when I do, I use this and it just makes my hair so sleek and so pretty. And like I said, it was very affordable. I feel like something like this at Ulta would probably cost you over $100. But like I said, Amazon sometimes comes in clutch. So I love this. And now, 
And then the next item is the sunscreen. I actually talked about the sunscreen, I think, in my last video. And it's by the brand A AHC. And I've been, I just, I feel like as I got older, I mean, I'm still pretty young, but as I'm getting older, I'm more into my skin now than I ever was. And I'm so happy that I got to a point where I started to invest in my skin and not so much in other things. Because a few years back, I actually did not even wear sunscreen, I didn't even wear moisturizer. The only thing I wore was like, I would wash my face and probably just use like a random moisturizer from the drugstore. But I would wear makeup just to kind of hide my skin because I didn't like how my skin looked. But as I got older, I started to get more into like self-care and stuff like that. My skin is something that I'm always, always gonna invest in. Like if something is a hundred dollars but it's gonna make a big difference and i'll go ahead and do it which i'm not saying i buy a hundred dollar stuff <laughs> but i just my skincare i guess you guys right now i'm not wearing any makeup and i just i feel very comfortable i feel very pretty i just love how my skin looks and i've actually done a skincare um i've actually done a skincare video i think a few videos back but i'm always changing my routine so i think i'm probably gonna be doing that I think I'm probably going to be doing one for the summer and spring because I feel like my skincare is going to change as the weather changes. Can you guys see him? He literally just ate. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I'm so glad he's doing so much better. It was very scary because he had a seizure, uh, a seizure on Saturday and it just, it changes him, but he's, he's happy right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, Bubby, I'm recording. I'm recording. <laughs> Um, but, <laughs> but I really, really, I swear I could, I've been trying to record and it's, you know, we'll just go with the flow, but, <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, sorry guys, I just, he, he's something else, but I was talking about this uh, sunscreen, so I currently use I use two sunscreens. I use the La Roche Poche. Uh, I think it's SPF 60, and I really like it. I use that every morning, and then I just carry this with me, so just to reapply sunscreen. Because, like I said, I think sunscreen. Ever since I started implementing sunscreen in my skincare, honestly, my skin looks so much better. Also, you have you guys have to keep in mind that it's also it matters the way you eat, what you eat, what you drink, in order for your skin to be good like it doesn't you're it won't work if you're just have if you have i'm like not making it sorry i'm all just jacked it's just he is like right here next to me um but what i'm trying to say is like as much as you try to take care of your skin and use so many good products if you don't take care of your body if you don't eat healthy if you don't drink a lot of water then it won't really make a difference because i that's how i started i'm gonna like just off topic i started with my skincare but i wasn't taking care of my body i was eating a lot of uh sugar drinking a lot of soda eating a lot of junk food and as much as i tried to make my skin look good it, it wouldn't work because i wasn't taking care of myself but i cut a lot of those things i cut soda i'm not kidding i would drink at least two three glasses of soda every day and i just felt very bloated and ever since i slowly started to just eating i mean i still eat junk food i'm not gonna say i don't but to a certain extent i drink a lot of water i stop i cut down on coffee a lot i used to depend on coffee mostly when you work at a coffee shop i would have a cup of coffee every day five six times a day a week every time i would go to work and i, I haven't had i mean i've had coffee like i have it once a week unless i really need it but i usually just drink green tea matcha just healthier stuff and like i said i've noticed a big uh change in my body but back to the sunscreen topic this is a really good sunscreen i actually saw it on tiktok and it's a stick sunscreen and you pretty much just apply it all over your face on your neck and like i said this is really nice and it's very small and very compact also if you guys have sensitive skin i would always suggest you do your research before you guys buy anything i i have pretty sensitive skin but i've noticed that this doesn't really um, make my skin break out or make my skin flare up but I really like this and it I think it was also like $20. And then I'm almost done. Sorry if this video I keep apologizing, but my dog is something else. And I don't think I'm gonna edit those clips out because 
it was funny um so i'm almost done i'm gonna go ahead and just talk about this item and i've actually talked about this as well so many times but i just can't get enough of this this is a portable charger so it looks like this and i've had this for over a year now i think i go into two years now and i carry this with me everywhere i go it's in every bag i take and i love that it's a portable charger but also i'm not done this it's a flashlight just in case of an emergency so sometimes you never know like you might need a flashlight so you pretty much just turn this on and it's a little flashlight right now it's not super bright because it's daytime but the best part is during the summer sometimes it gets really hot like super hot where i live and this is a fan and when i tell you guys that this works wonders last year we went to la with my sister-in-law and my nephew and my niece and it was really hot and my nephew had this with him at all times and it actually worked really good can you guys see him <laughs> you like it um yeah but i really really like this and like i said i carry this at all times and it's also a portable charger i usually don't really use my phone a lot unless i really need to so my phone always has batteries but it's always nice to just have an extra battery just because of an emergency and i have a few more items and i'm almost done the other item that i wanted to talk about is this light and i've actually mentioned this before as well but like i said these are products that i am always using and i'll continue to use and this is just a camera light i guess it's a ring light and you put this on top of your camera and the thing i love about this is that sometimes if you want to take a selfie if sometimes it's my no <laughs> if sometimes like my my setup is too dark i'll use a small ring light and i'll put this on top of my camera and this is really bright so it looks it's by the brand called ulanzi and i know ulanzi has other items that i really like for my camera as well and you pretty much turn it on and it has i think four different settings but when i tell you guys that this is so bright like this is like i don't know if you guys could see but it is so bright and the only thing i don't like about it is that it only has one like it's a white light so sometimes it makes you look very like washed out but it is really nice if you're vlogging out if you're vlogging outside or if you're vlogging in the dark or if you just need a light like this is really oh. <laughs> oh my freaking God. so yeah <laughs> so if you're so if you're recording <laughs> so if you're trying to create content in the dark or just sometimes i know that i want to vlog like in the night or just take my camera out but there's not a lot of light this you literally just mount it on top of your camera and it's very light and this was also less than 30 dollars and then i'm gonna get into some jewelry items um i am the kind of girl that likes very simple very chic jewelry expensive jewelry i have are actually my earrings these these are from jury and even though they were not expensive these are all 14k and i really really like them but sometimes i want to switch it up and i want to switch like my bottom one and amazon honestly has the best affordable jewelry like ever and i have quite a few items that i've been really liking in my little bag i've actually mentioned this before and since i don't have a lot of jewelry i got this but there's some little necklaces that i really like um first is this one this is just a pendant with the letter j and i'm starting to get into necklaces i literally just own three i own this one and then this little chain which i also really really like and sometimes i'll layer them but sometimes i'll just wear this or this one and i just think they're statement pieces i am a gold um sucker for gold jewelry and like i said these were less than 20 dollars i just I just love to buy very inexpensive things that I can wear all the time without having to break my wallet, if that makes sense. But like I guess I'm starting to get into jewelry and these, I started with these two and I really, really like them. I, you could wear them with anything and they look so pretty. And I have some earrings that I have here. I'm trying to look for them because, oh, they're right here. Mm -mm -mm. So the other earrings that I, these earrings are so, I have other pairs of earrings. But I don't even know where they're at. But these are so freaking pretty. These are, they look like this. And they're little chains. 
and when I tell you guys that these oh I've worn these so many times and I've gotten so many compliments I like to wear these with my hair up and I get so many compliments and they're also very inexpensive so these are like salmon pieces like I feel like you could wear year round with anything and they never go out of style and I like to buy pieces like this just that go with anything and I have other pairs of earrings but I honestly don't even know where they're at I literally have to look for them these are the other ones there's some there's some little like medallion ones and they look like this and these are so cute they just kind of have like a I would say like a it looks like Medusa but these look so cute as well I like I said I just buy I like buying very dainty things that look very classy very very simplistic I've never been into like big jewelry and stuff like that and stuff like this like I said you can wear year round and they never ever look too tacky and then the last items are just some rings and I'll pretty much be done I usually never really wear rings because of work and the only where the only ring I wear is my wedding ring and it's a pink a rose gold morganite but I sometimes I would see so many people with rings and I'm like they look so pretty and I went on Amazon and I, and I, got, I got quite a few and the first one I got is this, I guess, a Cartier knockoff. And it looks like this. And I think this looks so pretty. Like this. Sometimes I even wear this as a wedding band just if I don't want to wear my ring. But it looks so pretty. And like I said, it looks like the Cartier. I don't know how the Cartier looks in real life. But I see pictures and I could say that they look, they look similar. And the other one I got, it's also sort of like a replica of... There, I saw it in Missouri. I've seen a lot of girls with it and it's kind of like a little I'd say croissant and it looks like this and this was also like I think like $12 on Amazon and I just think like this like statement ring with very very simple earrings looks so pretty and I got some other ones I got just like simple gold ones but all of these are from, from Amazon and then the other one I really like is this one it's a flower um, this is actually the flower for my birthday which is in January. I don't know how far where it was, but I searched it up and it looks like this. I'm just trying to get it closer to you guys. But it's just a little gold ring and it looks so cute. Just these are pieces like these are pieces that look good with anything and then they look very very elegant, very classy. And then the last ones, I got this chunky one, which is like a diamond one, but I just thought it looked cute, you know? Girls are diamonds. Diamonds are girl's best friends, but I can afford a diamond. I actually don't like diamonds. Um, fun fact, I don't like diamonds. I had a diamond ring, and I sold it, and I got my Morganite green wedding ring because I just, I don't know. I don't want to go into too much detail, but I would rather get a gemstone than a diamond. But this is just, like, I think cubic zirconia, and you can, like, it looks it looks nice. The last two are this. These are just also gold with, like, a little with diamond, and these are super super cute just to kind of layer on top like usually i'll wear this and it looks super cute and yeah like i said i pretty much just get all my jewelry from amazon I i'm sorry if i was laughing a lot but my dog is something else i just i'm glad he's feeling better like i said i had a pretty rough weekend um he got sick and uncle i could get into more detail in another video of what happened to him and how he's been doing but it just it's good to see him doing better and like I know that a lot of people think that pets are just pets but for me he means a lot I got him when I was going through a very hard time in my life and ever since I've had him he's just he's made a big difference in my life and um yeah I'm glad you guys got to see him kind of playing around and being a little dorky but pretty much these are all the items that I've been loving before I end with today's video I just want to thank you guys so much again for watching and for supporting me I honestly I did not think it was I didn't think I was gonna grow this fast and I know that I'm still under I think I'm 380 something subscribers but for me that's a lot I that's 300 people watching me so I'm very very thankful and I am going to go into details about the giveaway so like I said I will be doing a $50 giveaway once I reach 400 subscribers and it's just a little appreciation of it's a little thank you for me for all the love and support that I've been getting ever since I started my YouTube channel and I will get into more details as I get closer I think on my next video which I will upload on Thursday I will be 
giving you guys the uh, instructions to enter the giveaway but it is going to be super simple other than that thank you so much i hope you all have an amazing day don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and make sure you guys turn on your notifications so you guys get notified every time i upload and i'll see you guys in my next video bye